to my channel my name is Sammy from Go Sammy Joe and today I wanted to do a quick tutorial I recently made a video talking about all my new iPad Air 4 accessories during that video I had a little bit of trouble with the mouse and it not connecting and I have figured it out so this is just like a little extension tutorial to that uh, since that video is already done so I was having a hard time connecting this and I looked it up online and it looks like other people have had the same problem I had so I thought I would make its own video for this um, so I recently got this wireless mouse um, to use with my iPad and also possibly with my MacBook Pro as well um, so I'm gonna show you guys how to set it up and sync it with your iPad and um, there's two different ways that you can do it um, and I'll go over both and if you guys want to see that video of my iPad accessories I'll have it linked up above and probably down below as well. All right, let's get into the video So on the back here, there's a couple of different options You can go to the left if you want to sync the Bluetooth or if you want to use the USB thing that most um, Most of these mouses come with this was super easy But I don't always have the thing to connect it to my iPad Which is why I'm relying on Bluetooth for this a little bit so to connect it, you want to go into settings and Bluetooth, and this is where you're going to find it. Sorry if there's a little noise in the background. My Mac is right next to me exporting this week's video, and it is working hard. Okay, so to do the Bluetooth, we're going to go to the left here, turn it on, and see, when I did this last time, it would not pop up up here. But I'm pretty sure what I did different is I just held this blue button and yeah, it made it like discoverable, I guess. And then we would click it. So if you are having this problem, I would just say it might just be your iPad being um, weird and to maybe take a break. There it is, now we're connected. To take a break, turn it off and try again because I really don't have any other explanation for it except that maybe I was thinking I synced two keyboards that day and maybe it was overwhelmed with the amount of Bluetooth devices or something. So as you can see when you have it on here um, it appears as this black dot and then you can like hover over the different apps to open them. So that is how you connect a Bluetooth mouse. The next way I'm going to show you quick, um, we're going to go ahead and turn this off, is going to be with the USB thing. This was super easy the first time I did it and had no trouble with it. But because of um, the port that you have here, you're going to need an adapter of some sort for your iPad. I use this for my Mac. I, I didn't buy this for my iPad. I just had this laying around. And you can uh, do SD cards, micro US, um, micro SDs, and uh, USB, and um, what's it called? There's a ton of different ones of these with different types of ports. So um, you can, Amazon's a great place to find ones like these. Um, so basically what you do is you take most wireless mouses have this in them. You take this little USB that's connected to it and put it in like that and then connect your adapter okay. and then I'm gonna turn it the other way on and it's already connected which is great it's so easy um, so um, I've been enjoying this mouse so far and that is it. That's how you connect a wireless mouse to your iPad. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helps somebody out. If you have any questions or problems pairing your mouse with your iPad, uh, let me know down below. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!